Hello and welcome. Hope you're doing well. My name is Miles and today we're looking at how to convert Vlog into a Rec 709 colour space. If you've been following the channel you'll know I made LUTs for CineD and Natural that I developed for my GH5 course students and I shared them with everyone for free. This time I'm doing the same for Vlog. Now why would I make my own Vlog look? Well the original look doesn't look that great to me. For a start off, I could be wrong, but I think it was developed for the Vericam's full Vlog and not GH5's Vlog L, which is a slightly pared down version. So I don't think it's purpose made, and it also seems to have a magenta bias, which I don't really like. And then even after applying it, I feel like it's a little too flat still. I don't mind adding contrast in after a look, and then maybe even adding the saturation back in. But then there's still this red bias that you get from the official vlog look that I see. So I wanted something for a more neutral starting position. Today I'm going to review some of the looks that I've been looking at for vlog. For example, this is Tom Antos's free vlog look. Now I don't remember if he built this as a creative look rather than just a transformation, but I don't find it to be neutral at all. It seems to have a decent amount of contrast. Certainly in the red channel, like here for instance, it's expanded the luma right from 0 to 100 but it seems to have just been a bit more aggressive on the reds and that's why it's coming out a bit warm. And I haven't really found a need to use the look that it is giving, so I haven't ever used this one. Next, let's take a look at the Jew Works vlog look. Now, please note, this isn't his paid pack. This is just the look that he gave away for free some time ago, which I'm not even sure he still offers anymore. Now, to my eye, this one gives good contrast, but you can probably tell it's really, really saturated. Now I don't want to fix that by bringing the mix down because that will affect the contrast but also it will affect any colour space transformation that he's done. So these looks I do think need to be left at 100%. So maybe you could deal with this by turning saturation down afterwards. But as it comes for me it's just way too saturated. Especially in the reds. Now I don't even mind what it's doing to the greens like in this foliage around here. But it comes to my face and brickwork it just comes out way too red. So here's the one that I can For me it's controlled the magenta a lot better in the skin tones. It still does the colour space conversion from Log to Rec 709, but I just think it handles the colour and the contrast a little bit better. It comes with a viewing LUT that you can use to load to the GH5 to see what the LUT's doing while you're shooting. So you can load that onto the SD card, import it onto your GH5, then you'll be able to see what this LUT is doing while you're shooting Vlog. And I find the added contrast that this LUT has does help a little bit while you're shooting, at least compared to the official viewing LUT for Vlog. Now remember this is just supposed to be a correct and a colour space transformation. It's not supposed to be a finished look in itself, that's why it's not super contrasty or oversaturated. So what that means is you can throw a look on after having applied this conversion and it might not need that much work afterwards. You know sometimes you apply your correction and then a look goes on top and it's way over the top, you've got to dial back the look or you've got to make some changes afterwards. But in this case because it allowed some room for extra contrast and also saturation, it might not need too much to look good. There'll be a link to download this in the usual place and in there you'll get the LUT itself and also the viewing LUT which is the .vlt file. Give those a whirl and if you do try them out I hope they work. In the meantime let me know in the comments how you're currently dealing with Vlog and also if you have any experience with Film Convert I'm soon to test that out so I'll be interested in any opinions if you've got them and you may see some testing on that from me in the near future. Thanks very much for watching this one and I'll catch you next time.